Hello friends, this is Ricky Chadda from Astro Healer channel. Now this video is a little different from my usual video that I make on astrology. Yes, this is also pertaining to astrology, but I wish to share some of my experience, some of my knowledge. And I want to take you a little away from astrology towards the spiritual path as well. Many people recently have put a comment. They say so much is happening. There's all negative uh, negativity around us. So many transits, so many planets. You're talking about events that are um, almost like calamities. This, uh, you're talking about there could be a war-like situation, a turmoil, a turbulence. So is this what we have got in future? See, long back, I think around two years back, I had made a video and it is still there on YouTube where I explained to you that I have been in astrology for almost uh, two decades now. It's a very recent development that I came on YouTube. I wanted to share some information with you all. And I am um, very much also into spiritualism. And this is all because of my mentors, all my gurus. I have already uh, mentioned their names also. Around 2010, all of a sudden in my life, something happened. That changed me completely. It was a paradigm shift for me. And in 2007, I was introduced to a, a cult through a book. The book that I have mentioned many a times in my video. The book is called Kryon. K-R-Y-O-N. It's a volume of 14, uh, 14 books together. That has actually changed my life. Well, I do not want to get uh, too much into it now. I just wanted to share some information and I am taking you back to the thumbnail, today's thumbnail, where I have said 2020 uh, to 2030 is a period of a big change. This change actually started happening in 2012. And if I take you back in 1989 was the first breakthrough in this where all these activities started. Each and every child born after 1992 they, they are termed as indigo children. Why are they termed as indigo children? You will see these children who have come back are also termed as old soul returning back on this planet. But they are here with a very different library. In 1992 something happened in the core, in the center or what we call as a magnetic grid or a crystalline grid. Now this is something which not many of you will understand. Many of you may not may disagree with me and many one many many of you who have recently started developing that interest would definitely understand what I am about to say. All the children born after 1992 you must have marked 
that these children are different which you cannot only term as generation gap these still children have come back with new libraries new vibes new frequencies new setup you see a 3 year or 2 year old child also would handle the mobile or the gadgets electronic gadgets far better than you and me they will pick up everything very soon they will fight with you argue with you debate with you regarding religion what are you doing what are you following because there is a there is a division being religious and being spiritual these children are very spiritual these children would be very much connected to pets nature their way of life would be very different okay in 1992 there was a shift which happened and i do not want to i don't intend to get too much into depth of what happened in 1992 but there was a shift the earth was given a, a one degree tilt which even nasa also agrees to that but the most important thing what is happening between 2020 and 2030 the 10 years is that i call it's a time of construction now if we talk about construction i have got few points to discuss with you why do you construct anything in life why the first thing is there is a need now you may ask me need of what see the need is that it's a need that says that we need to reconstruct because we have to give away all the old tradition all the old way of doing things and have a new uh, life altogether the world today is going through a construction but now you may ask me why so many of negative things are happening if you look at my uh, thumbnail you will see i have put a picture of a, 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 a picture of a building which is under construction look at the building as if that that is our planet planet earth whenever there is a need for a change in your life what do you do you have got two option you will go and you will visit a site it could be an empty barren land first thing and then you may like it and you want to build something on it the other is you look at your building and the building is 50 60 70 years old and now you think this building is going to collapse because the material the build uh, the way it was constructed the layout plan everything is uh, like you know it needs to be renovated or renovation is not possible so what you do you bring down the whole building right now when you bring down the whole building or if you are into an empty land can you start making that making that building without digging the land or without making the old building collapse so you can reconstruct right so every construction on this planet also requires destruction that means digging or collapsing everything so that new things can be replaced over there 
Now, take this building as the earth and don't only look at the material thing into it. There are other things that we require to change in our life. What are these steps? One is the need, reconstructing, going on the site to see. You are free to call me stupid. You are free to call me a psychic. I have no objection. But listen to me very carefully. There are some entities, there is some divine plan which is happening on this planet. Many of us are not aware and few of us are fully aware of this. The divine also is planning something for planet earth because there was a call from mother earth that she wants to do away with the old things, old energies, old way of looking at things. So divine is planning. So then now the fourth step is planning. Now when you're planning, you see that <clears throat> to make something over here, we need to first put everything into a scrap. We have to remove, we have to declutter, we have to make space so new thing can come up. Right? So now you will be having, having digging, breaking, construction and uh, as I said, destruction is required for construction. Then you have to give away the old way, ways of everything. At the same time, the divine will also tell you, you have to when you are when you are emptying your house you normally look at things like you know this i have been not using for a long time throw it away this is something that i require every every time so it's few things you will keep few things you will remove now what you keep is what the earth wants now earth wants us to get back to nature get back to sattvic food give away karmic food this is something that earth needs. What earth do not need is what is causing pain to her. So the only way this can be cleared is by causing some earthquakes, tsunamis, volcanoes, other calamities, viruses, these are these are also a tool of decluttering earth wants a new design earth wants the new ways to lead, to lead our life new material also earth wants people to shift not physical on a physical level but have a mental shift also what I call as a paradigm shift and because earth is going to take a shift or it is taking a shift from 22020 everything will appear to be very negative destructive ugly because Today, in the apartment where you are staying today, whichever apartment, if you happen to get a picture from the builder when he was constructing your building, look at the when it was being built up. How did it look? Right? It was the interior was not done, exterior was not done. Everything was from the scratch and you would see cement here, cement there, people with the cap walking here and there, digging, dust, filth around that building because the building was being constructed. Similarly, the earth is also trying to reconstruct itself. 
and it is making it possible for us to move into a new house into a take, take a take a possession of a new house and so you will see all these th things what i'm talking about is happening now when i talk about uh, maybe there is a there could be a war like situation a calamity uh, there could be a famine, uh, famine or there could be some uh, other things that that sounds very uh, scary do you think i am uh, not into it, a part of it my family is not a part of it so as much as you are scared that that scared, that uh, fear is there in me also but we have to come down to the level of thinking that there are some changes required on this planet and if you look into the history also earth had to like a snake descaling its body for a new skin to develop is that what earth is going through we are progressing we are proceeding we are moving moving forward for a better time but there is always a gestation period there is always a time a, a window period where we have to we have to survive we have to take all this what is going on on this planet so this is my video explaining to you that whenever i say there are going to be some bad uh, phases due to some planetary uh, movement i mean to say try and understand why it is required i have always mentioned that covid the virus till date i have got covid twice but till date i have never never said covid was ever bad it has it is here to teach you a lesson it has taught us a lesson many things many opportunities were hidden which was brought in front of you due to this covid that doesn't mean i wanted to stay stay back but i mean whatever happens there's always a divine plan thank you for watching this video if you did understand what i am talking a little away from astrology if you wish that i should give you such contents about spiritualism meditation talking to guides talking to the divine communicating with your angels how angels work how you see repetitive numbers on your mobile what is the messages that you can gather from that i am open for it i can start making videos on that i have already made videos on repetitive numbers right from 0 to 9 you can uh, check my videos it is there this is what i wanted to share with you thank you so much god bless you all stay positive everything is perfect have faith in the divine divine has a plan and the plan is good for us and for our children stay blessed